Well, it's a lovely autumn day, and today we're going over to Boss Over Antiques. Haven't been here in a while, so we're gonna go in. Oh, what's down here? We'll go down there in a minute. When we come out. We're gonna go here today and see what we have. It was. It seems busy in the town. I think because the castle's here and people want to just have a look. It's such a lovely day, so we'll be right back. She glows. Let's see. So, so much to see. I'm in the first room and I just took some stuff downstairs. I bet that glows. Let's see. Keep my keys in. Oh, she glows like the Dickens. Just that. Ten. Not bad. So Christine had like these, but I think it's a set of three. I'll have to Marco Polo her and see if she wants them. Oh, look at this little cat on there. There's a vase back there. Wow. Well, it's a lot. Oh, look at those. Apple set. That's cute. Honey pot. Oh, look. I mean, look at him. So cute. Okay. That's cute. I hope it's set up there. <clears throat> oh, look at that. It's so, it's so good. And the price is good. I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'm not mad at it. It's, it's, I'm whispering because <laughs> I don't know why. 
because I'm talking to myself. That's why. Okay, so good. Oh, look. Yeah, those are cool. Ooh. much of boots is here. Let's go in here. Wow. <clears throat> Look at those, like the Punch and Judy. Yeah, they're cool. The door stops. Christmas tin. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's not bad. 35. Where's every penny? of paperweights. I mean, they're like desk weights at this point. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the shop with me over at Boss Over Antiques. I really enjoy shopping there. I hadn't been there in a while, so it was good to go back and see all the new stuff they had. So let's get into what I got. So I walked around the whole place, as you saw, and upstairs is where I found most of my goodies. Because upstairs, they always have good bargains upstairs. There's this one particular booth that I love going to. So, let's see what I got. So, the first thing I got was this. I saw this. And I actually didn't pick it up the first time I went, walked through, but went back the second time and saw it. So, I got this lovely biscuit barrel. It's wood. It has a plastic insert in it to keep your biscuits fresh. And I don't know what kind of wood it is, but it's really pretty. It's got a little handle. I love this. I think it's so cool. And it's got this little lid on it. This little cool handle on it. Like a metal handle. Oh, love this. I love a good biscuit jar. So, a biscuit barrel. So, I got this. And this was eight pounds. I got this for eight pounds. And I just love it. It'll go on my Etsy shop. So, I do love the style of it. So, I got that. And then I got... Oh, oh, oh. Put that down. From the same area i got this lovely vase now i did check she does not glow but i love the color it's almost like an orangey red i don't know if it's showing up but i thought it, it doesn't glow i did check for cadmium but look at that it's got a good base on it right there good clear base and i love it i just think it's so nice and this was three pounds so three pounds for this lovely vase i got and then i I love this. I actually sold one recently that was of Chesterfield. It was one of these copper crafts, um, little pictures. And this is a woodpecker. And I just love the copper on it. And it's got the back. It's got like string on it to hang it up. And that's what it looks like. That's what the back says. But I just like it. It's Joel Kirk. And it's just a lovely copper picture. This was also three pounds. So I picked that up too. I like these little pictures. I got another picture too. I got this picture, which is embroidery, cruel, unclear, but 
it's this picture of this little like caravan. So like, you know, like a little trailer, like, you, you know, little caravan you live in right by the river. I love this. This was a pound. I'm trying to keep the glare off it. This is one pound. And it says, worked by Margaret Singleton, 1963. So it's kind of like, it almost a little, looks a little bit like, I don't know what it's called. Christine, Side Street Market, can you help me, girl? It's, I don't know if it's cruel or if it's like an embroidered picture, but it's really fun. It's like a yarn picture. And it's, oh, it's from Boots Frame Picture Framing Department. Look at that. Well, I love it. It's a little like a little plastic frame. I love that she worked it and then took it to Boots and had it framed. How cute is that? But for a pound, oh, I love this. And it's just small enough to be on a, like, on a picture wall or a gallery wall. Oh, it's so cute. So I got that for a pound. This little sponge holder frog. It looks like a little pottery. Maybe like a little, it's, oh, it's marked too. It's got some kind of signature on the bottom. I will have to look that up. But I love him. He's like a little sponge or scour holder. And he's like a little frog. Look at him. So I got him. He was three pounds as well. So that's what I got at Boss Over Antiques. And of course, I had to stop by Fusion because they have a booth there, Fusion Antiques. And um, <laughs> I always find something to buy when I go in there. She's great because she changes around the place a lot. And you always think you've seen everything and you haven't. And she's always getting new stuff in. So I went to kind of check on my booth. But while I was there, I did a little shopping. So what I got was these uh, Made in England little salt and pepper shakers. Wait, I'll show you the actual design on them. So, and I liked them because they were kind of autumnal. So I like these. They are made in England. Uh, the rubber stopper even says made in England. There's a stopper. And I liked them. They're just really pretty, really cute little salt and pepper shakers. That's the front and that's the back. And because they had like an autumn theme to them, I went ahead and picked those up. So I do like those. I got those. So everything I got from Fusion Antiques was two pound each. So I got those. That was two pound. Then I got this lovely little made in Denmark uh, pottery bird. Look at him. This little pottery bird. He's cute. Look, he's got a heart on his back. Oh, and it says made in Denmark. It's got a maker's name, but... I can't really read. I have the Willies, made in Denmark. I don't know. But I thought he was cute. Something like him would be cute for a mystery box. His little tail feathers. Look at him. He is cute. So I got him. And she, I got this brooch, which is like a little um, musical note. I do good with musical notes. I've sold quite a few of musical note Um brooches. So I thought that's fun for a music lover or someone who reads music, plays music, sings music, all the things. So I got that. And it's, it's a uh, rollover clasp. I'll show you the back. So I got that. And then I got, this was, a uh, y'all, this was adorable. I was like, look, okay, it's a little egg cup, but it was got a little paper on. Let me get that off. Ooh. So I got this guy, this little green egg cup. How cute is that poodle though? It has no maker on it, but I just thought it was adorable. I just thought it was what a cute little green poodle. So I got him. And the best I got, and I had been eyeing this up forever. Why this was still in her shop is a mystery to me. Because I think this is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Cool, weird, wonderful. So it's this vase. But it's kind of like a paperweight bottom. And it's got a red... Uh, the, this part is red. The vase part is red with like a white glass going through it. It's all glass. And I was like, is it a marriage? Did someone put that together? Was it meant to be that way? It's got this pretty flower in it. But I loved this. I thought this was, I had been eyeing this up for ages. And I'm like, why has no one bought this? This is so cool. I might actually keep this myself. Because I had been eyeing this up for some time. And I really just like the combination of paperweight and vase. So I did get this. I do like it. And I will probably keep this one. And that's my haul, y'all. That is all I got that day. I went shopping at the antique stores. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you enjoyed the shop with me. Now, for Dolo Digs. Who am I going to do today for Dolo Digs? Let me think. 
Right, today for Dolo Digs, it's a channel, it's a new channel. It's a channel that I enjoy watching because the videos are so fun. And that's Crafty Crafting with Daniel. Yes, my friend, your friend, our friend Daniel, tacky as me, has a crafting channel. And that's Crafty Crafting with Daniel. He's got quite a, he's got a, a good selection of videos on there and they're so funny and they're so good. He really does some really fun stuff and I like to craft. Obviously, sometimes I craft with uh, Helen Booty on her channel, but I enjoy watching Daniel craft because he's like, I'm going to do it my way. And I can appreciate that. That's Crafty Crafting with Daniel. I will put his uh, channel across here. I'll put his videos across here. And I'll put a link to his channel in the description of this video so you can go subscribe and check out Crappy Crafting with Daniel. All right, guys, that's all for today, and I can't wait to see you next time. Take care. Bye.